Hey guys, it's Southpaw. I want to talk to you about a few things that have recently sparked my interest in Minecraft again. I'm sure some of you remember the old Beta 1.7.3 terrain generation. It was before the big adventure update that was released in Beta 1.8. Biomes were smaller, more random, and each one had a wider range of height variation. Now the effect of these variables created a landscape that was always extremely fun to explore and build on. There are massive overhangs, expansive valleys, rolling highlands, and so much more ready to be discovered. This is the same landscape that Kurt J. Mack walks across in Farlands or Bust, and is often seen as the most iconic terrain styles in Minecraft. Today, Minecraft has a built-in world customizer, where you can change the values of many variables in the terrain generator. Now you can stretch the mountains, increase the diamond count, or even create an ocean world. It's really insane what you can do, the possibilities are limitless. Now before we move on, we need to look at the regular 1.8 terrain. As you can see, the biomes are larger. And there's less height variation among biomes. You don't get as much randomness. On top of this, oceans are very common and very expansive. They go on for a long time. Now, a few days ago, I found a thread about a new beta terrain preset on the Minecraft forums, created by someone named Jeffrey6978. Using the world customizer, he created a preset that returned to the old Minecraft beta 173 style terrain, but kept all of the current Minecraft biomes. He calls it Neo Beta. With this preset, full height variation returns across all biomes. Jeffrey was able to compare the code of the current 1.8 terrain with the old beta terrain and edit the generator settings to fit 173. He also mentions that the beta terrain generator has basically been buried underneath the current generator this whole time. It's just that it was flattened with two variables, known as biome depth offset and biome scale offset. His preset basically unburies the old beta terrain. And what he did was nothing short of amazing, but not surprising, and most people don't even know it's possible. As you can see, the comparison between 173 and current generation are almost identical in terrain shape. There's one more thing I want to mention, and that's a custom texture pack. After watching BW's video on a new sky texture, I decided to compile my own custom texture pack. I combined Halcyon Day's sky with Ornate 5's beautiful lighting to create a pack that is truly amazing. Combine this texture pack with the Neo Beta preset, and the results are stunning.